Devim Sarasvatim Vyasam Tato Jayam Mudirayet Nashta Praisa Badresu Nityam Bhagavata Sevayam Bhagavati Uttamasuki Bhaktir Bhavasti Nashtiki Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Salakaya Chakshurun Malitam Jena Tashmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadam Ahim Jadamati Swapadam Tikam Vandiham Sri Gurun Sri Yutaparakam, Sri Guru Vaishnavam Jha, Sri Rupam Sagrajatam, Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajiva, Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva, Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Bisakam Vitam Jha, E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagapati Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastuti Tata Kanchana Gorengi Radhe Bandhavani Shwari Prisavan Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Pri Bonchakal Pataru Vyascha Prupa Sundivyai Vacha Patitana Tavani Vyo Vaishnava Vyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Hare Krishna Granta Rasimha Bhagavatam Ki Sula Pahupadi Ki We want to by the request of the devotees we want to continue from chapter 7 Canto 7, chapter 11, text 8 to 12. And Ademoni and mention thirty qualities. Ademoni mention thirty qualities. So we look at one a day to Satya. So devotees requested we should. It was also our interest to. Look at it. So, <coughs> Satyam Daya Tapa Sucham Titik Shesha Titik Shesha Samo Dhamma Ahimsa Brahma Charyamcha Tyaga Swadhyaya Arjava Santosha Samadrik Seva Gramya Gramya Hoparama Sani Nirinam 
Biparia ye he shall. Monam at my be mal shan. Anna dia de some be bago. Bote biascha tata hata. To a tiswat ma de what a booty. Sutaran nirisupanda. Sherabanam kirtanam chasya. Smaranam. Mahatam gate. He began ba na tiridasham. Sakyam batama samarapanam. Nirinam ayam padu dharma. Sarebe sam samudha hirtan. Trinsal lok lakshana van rajan. Sarabatama yena tu shakti. Translation These are the general principles to be followed by all human beings. Truthfulness, mercy, austerity, observing fast on certain days of the month, bathing twice a day, tolerance, discrimination between right and wrong, control of the mind, control of the senses, non-violence, celibacy, charity, reading of scripture, simplicity, satisfaction, rendering service to saintly persons, gradually taking leave of unnecessary engagements, Observing the futility of the unnecessary activities of human society. Remaining silent and grave and avoiding unnecessary talk. Considering whether one is a body or the soul. Distributing food equally to all living entities, both men and animals. Seeing every soul, especially in human form as a part of the Supreme Lord. Hearing about the activities and instructions given by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the shelter of the saintly persons, chanting about these activities and instructions, always remembering these activities and instructions, Trying to render service, performing worship, offering obeisances, becoming a servant, becoming a friend, and surrendering one's whole self. O oh, King Yudhisthira, these static qualifications must be acquired in the human form of life. Simply by acquiring these qualifications, one can satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Simply by acquiring these qualifications, one can satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That is the purpose of life. To live our life in such a way that is satisfying Krishna, satisfying Krishna. So we have to learn the process. And the Muni has given the list, the list of the things we should do so that we can please Krishna. Just like you, you want to have a, a function, you, you organize a festival. Huh? You expect that festival to bring some joy. You are expecting some happiness, joy. To make it a joyful festival, celebration, there are lists of things to do. Inviting some important guests, some notable friends, well-wishers, <laughs> part of the things to do. 
-hmm. Accommodation, suitable accommodation for distinguished guests who are coming. They are eatable, so the list of the food, varieties of food, the list, everything, uh, all facilities. In the same way, to please Lord Krishna, Ladamuni has given 30 lists of things. 30 items. And the things for us to do so we can please the Supreme Personality of God. So the first thing is truthfulness. We have a look at truthfulness. So today we look at Daya, Mercy. Daya, Mercy. So let's, let's look at Mercy. Uh, here in Prophet, uh, I think if uh, explanation to okay. So what is messy? Daya. Then there's a in the second item, Daya, messy. Truthfulness, we look at it later. And I will look at uh, mercy, dire. Mercy means to bring someone relief from distress or to show compassion or forgiveness towards someone who could be treated harshly. Mercy means to bring someone relief from distress. Many, many, particularly in Kaliuga, everyone is in distressful condition for many, many reasons. Mm -hmm. Distress from the body, the distress from the mind, distress from poverty, distress from uh, superior officers in office, distress from the colleagues. Natural disaster bring distress. That uh, distress from sickness. Um, many deficiencies bring distress. So, mercy means to relieve one from distress. Or to show compassion or forgiveness towards someone who could be treated harshly. And someone say harsh word, give pain to the other, distress. To, to Talk to that person to take the person out of that is mercy. Or you relieve someone or some ailment that is mercy. Someone is in difficulty, stranded in the road, you pick the person out of that. This is mercy. It's showing mercy. These are different ways, different ways to show mercy. And we know ultimately what is mercy. What the ultimate mercy. Or the ultimate. Mercy. Um, proper, proper give example. Uh, there are so many charitable organizations <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> many charitable organizations to release someone from, from uh, uh, own education. So you provide a free school for people on privileged people to go to school. That is messy. Right? So uh, provide some from cloth from this to that is messy. Uh so Goswami says destitute. Hmm? A destitute is not just I have no cloth, I have no food, I have no amenities for taking care of the body. Dest a destitute person is one who is bereft of Krishna consciousness. Understand? One who is not Krishna conscious is what? A destitute. 
There's a common word in devotees' vocabulary and very much an integral part of Lord Chaitanya's mood of Krishna consciousness, Daya. One of the uh, important things to talk about mention, Daya, Jiva Doya. Hmm? Devotee care, devotee care, Jiva Doya, to show mercy, Namruti, chant on the holy name, and Vaishnava Seva, the three prominent things. Mercy. So we, we know we know very well that the ultimate mercy. You know just just about relieving someone from from material distress or you know, this thing. Original distress. Original distress is that one is not Christian conscious. That's original distress. A Krishna conscious person cannot be in distress and he cannot give he cannot put others in distress. Chapter twelve about Gita. One who cannot put others in difficulty, others cannot put him in difficulty. Is very dear to Krishna. Who cannot put others in distress and who cannot be put into distress? It's a devotee. Only a devotee. Only a devotee of Krishna can do that or also feel or has that kind of life. Mercy. Mercy is the second of the four religious principles and the basic principle of Brahminical culture. Mercy. It was one of the four pillars of religion. Is it not? One of the four pillars of religion. Truthful, truthful, truthfulness is one. mercy, austerity, and cleanliness. The four. Both of them are mentioned here. Mm-hmm. They already mention all this. Mm-hmm. So we're looking at uh, mercy. Sorrowfully, it is lacking in this age, while whatever little mercy that exists is disappearing by day by day. We are becoming merciless. Hmm? Is it not? Making ammunition is what? Is it messy? Making heavy equipment to destroy. Is that messy? So this quality is diminishing every day. We are becoming hostile. Look at the, the level of hostility towards each other. Hmm? What is hostility? Where mission of a dire means to release someone from, from anxiety. So not not greeting each other happily from the heart is what? Hostility. That's host, it's hostility. They don't care for you, don't exist for me. That's hostility. Just the fact that you are a living being alone should attract my attention to show appreciation that you are existing. And because of the existence, I'm existing to tell you how to to you. So not to do that is messlessness, hostility, and not relieving someone from uh, distress. Uh, Simon Bhagavatam says that in Kali Yuga, the decline of mercy is accompanied by a similar decline in the duration of life, the power of recollection, and moral or religious principles. And yet, without being merciful, one cannot surrender to the Supreme Lord. As you see difficulties in our Christian consciousness, <laughs> we have difficulties in Christian consciousness because the heart is hard. How can you want to become Christian consciousness when the heart, the heart is hard? A devotee's heart is soft, and, and we have to practice how to soften the heart. Be kind to each other. Appreciate the existence of other entities, especially devotees. This is the process of softening the heart. Give me a gift to somebody. Soften the heart. Wishing others well 
it's a part of this is a part of her yeah. mercy wishing others well even though those who are wishing was bad we should wish them well why why should we wish them well because if they change they will they will not attack you again so you have better chance to practice make sense you are practicing Krishna because many people are sending you negative vibration all around. It, it will reduce your, your progress. So if you don't have people projecting negativity towards you, your progress may be very fast. Therefore, we should wish some enemies well so that they will repent, they will become devotees and give us, eh, release their hands, they just release us so we can make faster passion. Kaliga is decreasing. Mercy is decreasing, decline. And as the mercy declines, the duration of our life also decreases because we are increasing our distress. Distress decreases duration of life. Happiness increases the duration of life. Hmm? Why? People are thinking good, feeling happy, thinking good about others. You have a good things, you attract good things around you. <laughs> and if you are negative, you attract negativity towards you. <laughs> so, you see, sometimes you wake up, you're not happy. No one has talked to you, you're not happy. You see, so many sadists, in this, especially in Kaliga, sadists. Why sadists? Because we are not thinking positively, we are thinking negatively. <laughs> and because that what we think, what we feel goes to the eater, the eater will digest everything and send it back to us it's a message, our thought is a message in this way you see people are suffering in this material way. Hmm? unnecessary or let's say in ignorance and yet, without being merciful, one cannot surrender to the Supreme God. Clearly, that is one reason why the wanton practice of meat eating can only result in semblance of religiosity and not in pure devotion. As Smart Bhagavatam says, Puman viraj yetar bina pashuk. Pashuk now, Pashuk not. Meat eaters cannot understand Bhagavad Dharma. Why? Hostility, no mercy. The principle of Daya is destroyed through meat eating. From childhood, mercy should be taught and practiced. Right from childhood, mercy should be taught and practiced. Children should be taught to recognize those in need, learn to be kind to them, including animals, to share what they have and to feed the poor. This is how Siddha Bhattacharya Maharaj have been trained right from the beginning. That is the training he got right from the childhood. You have three, three clothes, you, you, you give one to one who has one or two. He was trained like that by his mother and he followed the principle. That took him all the way to where he has been. Childhood training, which is also recommended by Prahlad Maharaj. Krishna consciousness to start from, from the child, even from the womb, in, in Prahlad Maharaj's case. Krishna consciousness start from the womb. Sinevas Acharya. From the womb. Oh, wonderful devotees who have their Krishna consciousness started from the womb. Governor Samskara. In Krishna himself. Lord Krishna himself, he did Governor Samskara. To show how, how important it is to purify the womb so they can come. A good soul can come there. A gentleman will not like a filthy, dirty place. Right? So if the womb is not clean, 
No good soul will come there. The same practices should be continued throughout life along with the greatest act of mercy which is to bless others with Krishna consciousness. That is the, the ultimate mercy. To show people the way to Krishna. That is the ultimate mercy. All the mercy, they, they end with the body. Or they prepare us to be a good person. Just a good person that will help us to become a devotee tomorrow. But Krishna consciousness is the original. The original mercy. Therefore, it should be cultivated right from childhood. From childhood, mercy should be taught and practiced. Yes. If devotees can sacrifice their lives to this end, then they are sure to be recognized by Krishna. If we become merciful, we will be recognized by Krishna. If you show mercy, those who are constantly thinking about the welfare of others, they are automatically under the full shelter of the Supreme Presidency of Godhead. That is why Krishna does not joke with his devotees. So Jiva Goswami said, Lokesha, Lokesha, Lokesha is put into difficulty by his pure devotees. Lokesha promised, Yeya Tamam Prabhupada, Tam Tatai Bajami Aham. As they surrender to me, I reward accordingly. But the devotees, they surrender to Krishna. I want Krishna, and what do you want? Nothing. So how would they, how would they reciprocate? What do you want? Nothing. What do you want? Service, more service. I need more service. Yes, okay, that is you. What about me? But give me service. So Krishna is in difficulty. When Krishna sees his pure devotee as a servant, Krishna is very, very attached to that devotee. Krishna is very attached to that devotee. According to Jiva Goswami, Krishna goes behind to take dust from the feet of that devotee to liquidate the debt put in his head. That's a great. So, Krishna himself, he told Duvasamuni, the devotees of my devotees are very, very dear to me. Not just my devotees are dear to me. The devotees who are serving my devotees are very, very dear to me. Very dear. So see how dangerous it is for anyone to disturb a devotee. There is nothing as dangerous as that. I'm repeating. If devotees can sacrifice their lives to this end, which end to show mercy, then we are assured to be recognized by Christian. But if we cannot, then you should actively support those who can. At least we do something. This is space for everyone. If you cannot, Support those who are doing it. They are not doing it and you are not supporting. Instead, they are becoming impediment of the path. You are already a resident of hell. <laughs> that is not my statement. That is uh, Padma Purana. That is Padma Purana, confirmed by Advaita Acharya. Advaita Acharya, Lord Advaita Acharya, he invited Chitam Mahaprabhu to come. When Chitam came, Abdullah Chaira asked him, Give me blessing, my Lord. Can you give me blessings? He said, Yes. Ask for any blessing you want. You called me, so I can give you anything. Lord Abdullah Chaira said, My dear Lord, those who are very proud of their wealth, they are proud of their education, proud of their beauty, proud of their, their aristocratic family. Their prestigious position in society. Don't give them prema. <laughs> Don't give them prema. But those two are very, very low, but they are very, they are, they are very faithful to you. And with that humility, change your name, give them blessing. 
to tell him, roar like a lion, like a lion. Yes, let it be as you said. It cannot be otherwise. And so the Bhaktis, uh, Bhaktis said, what he talked with Prabhupada said, the easy and the surest way for anyone to go to hell is to disturb the duty. That's the easy, the surest. We are ready in the hell for those of us on that planet. You are ready living in the hell, just waiting for Yamaras to open the gate. Want what our duration in this body is finished. The gate is wide open. Then you will not make a mistake. There's no mistake that you enter a different room. No, the express road, and it's only one way to hell. To disturb it, what is very, very dangerous. In any form. In any form. So, mercy means not to put anyone in anxiety, just to take people out of anxiety. That is mercy. By giving Krishna consciousness to people. See, the proper right. Spending 50% for the service of the Lord or for propagation of uh, spiritual knowledge in society by way of the Sankirtan Jagya is a maximum display of human mercy. Spending 50% of our money in spreading Krishna consciousness is what? Uh, is it, it by way of Sankirtan Jagya? By way of Sankirtan Jagya is the maximum display of human mercy. Maximum display. Doing Sankirtan. Yesterday we were talking about the, the, the process, the rules and regulations, how to perform Sankirtan. Mm, how to do it to distribute holy name to everybody is the maximum maximum <laughs> display of human mercy maximum so let the kirtan continue let the sankirtan continue let's distribute the holy name and books of krishna consciousness so the papa will set tears upon you like he did to his holiness by teacher Maharaj. He will shed tears on your head and give you the blessing. You are going back to Godhead. Maximum human display of human mercy. Greatest mercy. When everyone is taught to sacrifice 50% of his accumulated gold for the lost service, certainly austerity cleanliness and mercy automatically ensue and thus the lost degree legs of the personality of religion are automatically established just imagine in pursuit of this ideal The what is, we should, we, should, we should practice giving at least, at least, some percentage of our enemies to Krishna. Hmm? Even if you cannot give 50, at least something, you should start something. Hmm? And you should like uh, His Grace, uh, Kamalaksha Prabhu. Not at all, that is bad. <laughs> at least, there should be something. To say nothing, oh no, that, there should be some, at least something. Not at all, no, that is not good. Something. Yes, you are a human being. You are on the way. We should be on the way. If we are on the way, there is guarantee that we are going to get there. Is it not? Yes. If you are not starting, no, that is not good. Say, so if you cannot give 50, let us start. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, you should start something. 
start something, they will get there. The enemy of mercy is intoxication with both in both its gross and subtle forms. Enemy of mercy is intoxication in both its gross and subtle forms. One who consumes liquor or other drugs so readily available today becomes indifferent to the suffering of others and even to one's own dwelling, uh, one's own well-being. Uh, violence is not only to people. Violence also can be for the self. Is it not? We are doing also violence to the self. If I take drugs, which body? It's my body. If I do illicit say, which body? It's my body. So that is violence to the self. If I don't take to Christian consciousness, who's, who, is, who, who will suffer? It's the self. It's violence. All these forbidden things, they encourage violence. And they help to destroy mercy. How merciful is a drunkard? A drunkard. How merciful is a drunkard? He's going to drive the car and wipe many people off the road. Do you know? Yes. 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 And is it is it not violence when when I'm drinking and I'm buying also alcohol for you? Is it messy or violence? Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> That is <laughs> messlessness. Yes, that is messlessness. Let's not do these things. Uh, one who consumes liquor or other drugs so readily available today becomes indifferent to the suffering of others and even to one's own well being. And being intoxicated with false ego, which is both the false conception of oneself, brings the same result. A very practical example of this kind of intoxication is when a person, a fellow Varna, assumes the position of a higher one, thinking himself more qualified than he is. That is, violence, it is messlessness. One becomes very proud, becomes superior to others. In that, in that, a false ego means what? False ego means, I don't care for you. I would never have mercy. A false, a false a person who is falsely proud doesn't have mercy for people. All of you are my, are my servant, so I can misuse you. You are my property. So I can misuse you. That you, you see, you see that one with the religious leaders. All their disciples, all their secretary becomes their yeah, object of sanctification. Because why? I'm thinking all of you are my property. So anytime I need you, just come. You are my property. There's no respect for the soul in that body. No, no respect. So no mercy. By serving others, one notably, most notably, by servers, by cultivating the concept of being a servant, and by practicing to see the oneness of all beings, one cultivates mercy and thus become divinely ornamented. It is said, a person is great. If he is decorated with the qualities of being very merciful towards the unfortunate, very powerful, superior, chivalrous, enthusiastic, expert, and truthful, I repeat, uh, a person is great. A person is great. If he is decorated with the qualities of being very merciful towards 
you unfortunate people, very powerful, superior, curious, enthusiastic, expert at truthful. One is grateful if you are merciful. One is grateful. One is great if you are merciful. If we are not merciful, useless and a burden, a beast of burden, if one is not merciful. So this way we have looked at mercy to show kindness to others by relieving us from this terrible condition is called dire or mercy. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Counter question. Yes, sir. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. In course of your explanation, you said that uh, if one uh, is very truthful and uh, merciful, that definitely other people around will reciprocate. You also showed me uh, the same. But sometimes one discovers that when <coughs> somebody is showing mercy, <coughs> People around still gather together and they are just showing him the opposite of what he did. <coughs> For instance, the issue of the uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ who was so merciful. <coughs> Jesus Christ was so merciful. But people around still gather. But he was betrayed and sold for 30. 30 pence? How much? This is Gandhi was merciful, very, very kind. He wanted Indians to be independent, and he fought. I got the independence. The people whom he got the independence, I want to kill him. Not the people whom he fought. <laughs> Is the people whom he fought for and killed him. So <clears throat> we have seen that people are very merciful in Kali Yuga. They have problem. Right? Yes. That's the question. They have problem. Yes. We have seen practically. If you <clears throat> if you are very merciful, if you are you are humble. People consider it a fool. Let yes. me cheat. Useless man. <laughs> I have practical experience. When I was working in <coughs> the, my company, Costain, West Africa, and <coughs> the supervisor, Mr. Samson Okafo, he's my supervisor. <laughs> For a weekend, he would tell me, Write a particular voucher. I will write all ghostly figures. This, this, 50, this, 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 this 10, this one, 20. All of you, you sum, you sum total the whole thing. You collect the money and look at my face, put it in his pocket. <laughs> you give me anything. <laughs> <coughs> then he will, he will ask me, so what do you need? Fanta, just see. <laughs> Fanta. Fanta. <laughs> the big gist of me, the only Fanta he drinks. Fanta. He put the money in his pocket. I, I cannot give money to go and buy Fanta. You know, it's useless. But he used me to write all this and call it money. Why? Because I'm not going to report him. Yes, he's cheating. <laughs> I'm not going to report him that the see all these things I prepared the thing and he called it money. It doesn't exist. So he yeah, fool. He put the money in his pocket and he go for weekend. Every weekend I must write pretty card mm -hmm. So it, it, to to be humble, to be merciful in Kaluga is very dangerous. It's a big challenge. <clears throat> 
Therefore, should we do it or should we just forget it? Because you you been difficult. Like Gandhi was killed. Jesus also the same thing. Hmm? What to do? Let us continue to do it. Because what do we do? We are going to get the result. What is happening to you now? What is happening now? <coughs> of course, in the case of uh, Jesus, you cannot say that it's karma. But it is karma when you are take when you start taking people's karma. That is karma. You have to pay some dues. You understand? Know you pay some dues. You help somebody to bring the love down. You don't feel the weight. You feel the weight. So you are taking people's karma. So you have karma to deal with. If you take the load, where are you going to keep it? <laughs> it's with you. <laughs> yes, so the special massacre with this load. <laughs> if you don't have karma, the karma of what the devotees are taking is on your head. You have to pay for it. Therefore, Prabhupada said, it is a thankless service. Yes, it is thankless service. It is a risk. And that risk, that that uh, voluntary risk makes you makes you become the apple of Krishna's eyes. Krishna will see you very, very quickly. So we should do it. We should not be afraid of what will happen. Because eventually this way we are saved or not. Yes, Krishna protecting you. Krishna protecting you, defend you. <clears throat> yes, so it's a challenge, and if you don't have a challenge for what you do, it means that thing is not correct, not not pure. If 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 there's a heavy challenge, it means it's, it it has the potency to purify. So let's do it. You get purified, right? Thank you. Simon Bhagavatam Kija, Sulapo Padikija.